This book is called My Goose Betsy by Trudy Brom. It is illustrated by John Bendal Brunello. And here's our title page. My Goose Betsy. My Goose Betsy has smooth, soft feathers to keep her warm and dry with wide webby feet to swim with and a long, strong beak for tearing at grass or pecking up corn. Notice we said pecking up corn, not picking up corn. She's a goose, so she pecks at things. And look, I think that's an earthworm down there. And there's her wide webby feet. Betsy is a beautiful goose. This is how she walks in a stately waddle, her long neck stretched out, her head held high, staring sideways out of beady blue eyes. This is how she talks with a squawk or a honk or a hiss. She likes making lots of noise. Can you squawk or honk? Give it a try. My goose Betsy is building a nest for her eggs. Carefully, she collects straw with her beak and makes a big pile of it in the corner of the goose house. She sits on the pile and shuffles her bottom around to make a snug hollow in the straw. She lines it with fluffy down, which she pecks from her breast. When the nest is cozy and soft, she lays her first egg. Every two days, Betsy lays another egg until her nest is full. Then she settles down on top of the eggs to keep them warm until they hatch. Day after day, she sits in the very quiet, dark goose house, keeping her eggs warm. Outside, William the Gander, which is what a daddy goose is called. William the Gander is standing guard. If anyone comes near, he hurries toward them, his wings spread, his neck outstretched and his beak wide open in a fierce hiss. William the Gander is protecting his babies. Once a day only, Betsy gets off her nest. Out she runs, calling to her Gander. She stands on one leg, stretching the other out behind her like a ballerina and spreads her wings, a lovely, slow stretch. Then she pecks at some grass and has a quick splash in the water tub. But soon, she hurries back to her eggs before they get cold. All the time, Betsy's sitting on her nest. Her goslings are growing inside the eggs. Yes, a baby goose is called a gosling until one day the first gosling is ready to hatch. It begins to tap with its beak against the hard eggshell and the shell starts to break. The gosling taps some more and the shell cracks open. And now the gosling starts to push with its legs. Tap, 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 push, push, push. What a struggle. Suddenly the gosling is free. The eggshell falls away and the gosling tumbles out into the world, out into the soft warm nest where Betsy is waiting to gather it up under her wing. One by one, all the eggs break open until Betsy's nest is full of fluffy yellow babies. My goose Betsy is a mama goose.